As NFL star Travis Kelsey stepped up to the stage, the stadium lights dimmed and the crowd held their breath. A million cameras flashed, catching every detail of his face. He paused for a moment and then looked right into the flash. For everyone who's been asking, well, let's just say Taylor's got me thinking about a future where I'm no longer just catching passes, but maybe a wedding bouquet. The crowd went crazy, with cheers and gasps resonating through the stadium. Millions of people watched live as Kelsey's words sent shockwaves through the internet. The reporter's wide-open eyes made them forget for a moment that they were supposed to be professional. At the same time, Taylor Swift almost dropped her phone in a cozy Nashville apartment thousands of miles away. A big smile spread across her face as she watched the video. Her heart was racing. Did he just? She whispered to herself, and her eyes lit up with surprise and joy. She quickly grabbed her phone and began typing. As she worked on her answer, her hands flew across the screen. The internet was once again buzzing in an instant when her tweet showed up, oh, so you're finally catching on, huh? Winking face at Tkels hashtag not surprised, the sound of Taylor laughing filled the room with warmth and happiness. She could already picture the news stories, jokes, and rumors that would keep coming out. But for now, she just wanted to enjoy the thrill of hearing those words from the man she loved. In the late evening, she was sitting on her porch with a soft breeze blowing through her hair. Her phone rang. It was a simple but important message from Travis, so, wanna start planning a party? Tay's heart beat faster. She responded, yes, with a single tear of happiness running down her cheek. The stars were shining brightly in Nashville, and Taylor knew one thing for sure, this was only the start of their love story. It would be full of laughs, music, and a lot of touchdowns. People in the stadium went quiet as Travis Kelsey's face showed on the jumbotron. The stadium lights dimmed. He spoke into the microphone with a serious look on his face and a low, rumbling voice. He began, you know, there's this girl. And a gasp went through the stands. At home in Nashville, many miles away, Taylor Swift stopped moving and felt her heart race. Travis went on, she's pretty special, you guys. I'm also not getting any younger. The crowd let out a roar, but Taylor could barely make it out. She couldn't take a breath because her eyes were fixed on the screen. That was it. The moment she had both hoped for and feared. So, I figure it's time to make it official. Travis smiled, and his eyes sparkled with evil. Taylor, he asked into the camera, will you marry me? The stadium blew up, and fans jumped to their feet and yelled, yay. But Taylor's world shrunk to the size of the screen, and she felt a lot of different things at once. She whispered, oh my god, and her hand flew to her mouth. She got tears in her eyes, which were a mix of happiness, shock, and pure love. Of course, she knew this was going to happen. They had thought about it, dreamed about it, and made plans for the future together. But it was different when I heard those words and saw them written in big, bold letters on Travis's face. It was true. Taylor shook her head in shock as she picked up the phone and called Travis. It rang twice before he picked up, and his voice was so excited that it was shaking. The man asked, did you hear me, baby, with a worried laugh in his voice. Taylor laughed, and the sound was wet and happy. She said, I did, with a choked voice. The answer is yes, you silly jerk. Yes a thousand times over. For the second time, Travis's happy roar caused the crowd to erupt. Taylor could hear the cheers of support and love coming from the crowd as they chanted her name. She closed her eyes and enjoyed the moment. She was so thankful that her heart was full. The days after the wedding were crazy with congratulations, interviews, and last-minute wedding plans. Fans of Taylor were camped out outside her house, eager to catch a glimpse of the newly engaged couple. Taylor and Travis, on the other hand, were too busy with their own stuff to notice. Every day, they stayed at Taylor's house in Nashville and read wedding magazines, tried cake samples, and argued about the guest list in a fun way. The big day finally came. The wedding took place outside, in a beautiful spot with lots of trees, flowers, and grass. Taylor walked down the aisle toward Travis with her eyes shining with happiness. She was beautiful in a long white dress. 
As they said their vows, the sun went down behind the horizon, giving the scene a warm glow. A light breeze blew through the trees and carried the sound of Taylor's voice as she told Travis she would love him forever. As they signed their vows with a kiss, fireworks went off in the sky. The bright colors of the fireworks showed how happy and in love everyone was. As the stadium lights went out, they threw a warm glow over the stage, where Taylor Swift was standing. Her signature red lipstick sparkled in the light. She sang her hit song, Love Story, to thousands of excited fans. There was a different kind of excitement in Taylor's heart tonight, though, and it wasn't in her set list. In the morning, her boyfriend, Kansas City Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey, finally brought up the W word, wedding, at a news conference. The crowd roared at the end of the song, and Taylor couldn't help but smile bigger than normal. Her fans were thrilled with her show, but she didn't let them know how excited she was herself. Behind the scenes, she took out her phone and opened Travis's message. Her heart was racing. Reading, you crushed it tonight, babe, and about that press conference. I meant every word. Taylor's lips turned red. Travis had always kept their relationship very quiet, especially when it came to talking about getting married. It was a big step for him to talk about it in public. She quickly typed a response, her fingers moving quickly across the keyboard. Mr. Kelsey, you're the one who crushed it on the field. And those words? I loved listening to them. After a short time, Travis called. His voice was a low rumble that made her shiver. So, he said, what about those wedding bells? Tay's heart beat faster. She joked, what about them, even though she was so excited she could hardly hold it in. Well, Travis said in a soft voice that made Taylor melt, maybe it's time to talk about a different kind of love story, one that ends with us at the altar. Taylor let out a gasp and put her hand to her chest. Travis. She whispered, her voice rough from feeling. Travis said, I know, I know, I've been dragging my feet. But seeing you up there tonight, shining brighter than any star, it made me realize that I don't want to wait another minute to make you my wife. Taylor's eyes got teary. Oh, Travis, she finally said, yes. Yes a thousand times. They talked and laughed for hours that night, and their voices were full of love and the hope of a future together. She couldn't help but think that her love story with Travis was better than any song she'd ever written as she finally fell asleep.